Year after year, one by one, children climb into Santa's lap and ask for gifts and sometimes miracles. The scene was no different Sunday afternoon at the Bass Pro Shop in St. Charles. Three-year-old Madison's wish for her soldier daddy to come home. And on cue, as if it were magic, he appears. <laughs> Hi, baby. Come here. <laughs> Army Staff Sergeant Josh Pullman has been in Afghanistan for the past nine months. He says it's overwhelming to hear his daughter ask for him for Christmas. It hits me straight in the heart. I mean, uh, it's exciting to know that, um, that she's really uh, excited for me to come home. Wife Kristen's Christmas wish also fulfilled as her family is reunited just in time for the holidays. Can you tell Santa thank you? You're welcome. Did Santa do a good job? Give me five. Isabella was thrilled to spend her birthday at Schlitterbahn with her mom and siblings. But little did she know she was about to get a surprise visitor. Hey, baby. Happy birthday. The surprise from her dad, Sergeant Chris Boyce, was quite a shock. For a while, she didn't know what to say or do. Then it all finally set in. I missed you. I missed you too. The best birthday surprise ever. Sergeant Boyce also got to see his wife and three other children. One of them is just over seven months old. The day was spent having fun and catching up. I miss you guys. You guys ready to have some fun today? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You go on a ride? Yeah. Yeah? Who's this? Happy. He'll continue the fun with his loved ones all 4th of July weekend. As our nation celebrates freedom, fought for and kept strong by people just like Sergeant Boyce. I'm Kaylee. On a Friday morning at Baines Middle School. We're coming to you live on this beautiful Friday morning. The morning pledge began as it normally does, broadcast at 9 a.m. sharp on Stampede TV. But then, please rise to the pledge. A special guest changed everything. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Army Sergeant David Blaylock, fresh from a year-long deployment to Afghanistan. One nation under God. During the library, daughters Caitlin and Cameron. Justice for all. They had no clue. The rest is better told seen and said. Yeah, yeah. Very surreal uh, and, and yet completely just delighted. Uh, I can't express it enough, actually, still. It's okay. overwhelmingly oh. great. I can't, yeah, no words to describe it really. You're okay. <laughs> Homecoming. Simply put, for two little girls, daddy's well, home. You don't have to stay at school the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, I just need everybody to be on your pockets. It's a packed auditorium at Huggins Elementary. All the kids, including fifth grader Carson Council, think they're about to shoot a song for troops overseas. They begin to sing God Bless America, Carson front and center. Suddenly, a soldier appears at the back of the stage and starts walking toward Carson. So, um, Carson Council, uh, welcome home, your brother, Brad Rotella. <laughs> The fifth grader is in shock. Her big brother, Sergeant Rad Rotello, is finally home after deploying to Kuwait last August. Carson knew her brother was coming home soon, but she had no idea it would turn out like this. Their entire family in on the surprise. <laughs> I miss you, baby girl. Now, after months apart, she's grateful to have her brother back home safe. And it's pretty clear Sergeant Rotello has a lot to be thankful for, too. Huggins Elementary, you guys have been 
awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Give me a hug. Mm. How are you? Mm -hmm. huh? Preston McClinton's brother stopped mm -hmm. by. The two have not seen each other in two and a half years. Lance Corporal Braxton McClinton just completed two years of service in the Singapore Army. Sergeant Hale was deployed six months ago and hasn't seen his family since then. He got back to South Carolina on Thursday and has been staying in a hotel to surprise his entire family at the graduation. Brian Schuyler graduated from Lexington High School along with 400 other students at the Colonial Life Arena. While family and friends enjoyed the ceremony from the stands, Sergeant Hale hid behind the curtains waiting for his daughter's name to be called. Ryan Schuyler signed up for the Army National Guard out of Charleston and leaves later this year. As for Sergeant Raven Hale, he has 14 days left to join his family after the big surprise. What shape is this? Four-year-old Madeline Penter attends Small Hands Big Dreams Preschool in Mentor. For her, Monday began like any other. But little did she know, she was about to get a big surprise. For the last 10 months, Madeline's father, Sergeant Jackson Penter, has been serving his country in Afghanistan. On Monday, he made an unexpected visit to Madeline's school. Madeline. Madeline. Who's that? You know what I'm saying? Oh, Madeline. Hi. Hi. How are you? All these people here, huh? Oh. It's good to see you. I missed you. Sergeant Pinter has had three deployments to the Middle East. His only contact while overseas has been over the internet. We're going to go have some fun, right? Yeah. We're going to go to G's? Hang out. Yeah. Daddy. <laughs> the little girl was sitting in her kindergarten class in Lincoln Elementary when her dad, specialist Calvin Steele, came in to surprise her. Little Caden didn't know he was coming home so soon. <laughs> when asked what the first thing she wanted to do with her father, little Caden said she wanted to spend time together. I don't know. It was a close call at first. His mom almost saw him when she walked in. Brian's hiding out in Olive Garden's kitchen in Columbia, waiting to pull off the one thing he wanted to do first when he was back on American soil. Surprise his mom. Your mom's getting water. Okay. I'll be back with the light for you. All right. Which table? Brian pretended to be a waiter, bringing ordered drinks to the table. Here you go, mama. <gasps> oh my God! Oh, God. <laughs> Welcome home, buddy. Thank you. And one more family member was left to be surprised. 